This is Chris Smiley with Fifth Americans New. Benjamin Netanyahu pulled out a propaganda presentation, the United States withdrew from the Iran deal, and the world is in a fervor about what this all means. However, you're not hearing the fundamental truth about this matter. First of all, what is the Iran deal? Well, in 2015, an agreement was signed which would prevent Iran from getting a nuclear weapon by limiting its nuclear program, and in exchange, economic sanctions against Iran would be lifted. Iran had been following protocols since then and was not working towards developing nuclear weapons. However, this week Netanyahu claimed that Iran is blatantly lying and does have a secret nuclear weapons program. This is a lie which he has perpetuated for years and even his own intelligence agency has said it is not true. So Netanyahu claimed that Iran has a secret nuclear weapons program. But you know who actually has a secret program? Israel. Except that it's not such a secret anymore. Israel just lies about it. The idea of disclosure, Iran won't tell the truth, we had to go in there, you know, is Israel's position, and s steal this information so we can know the truth. Disclosure as an issue should work every way. The United States should say what it has. You know where I'm going with this. A yes, no question for you. Does Israel have nuclear capabilities and nuclear weapons? Yes or no? Uh, we've always said that we won't be the first to introduce it, so we haven't introduced it. But that's and not an answer to the question. Do you have them or do you not? Of any country. It's as good an answer as you're going to get. If you look at this leaked email correspondence of the then U.S. Secretary of State Colin Powell, what certainly is clear is that Powell acknowledges Israel's nuclear arsenal. Now, this has always been an open secret, particularly between the United States and Israel. It is, if you can call it, nuclear ambiguity. Here in Israel, whenever you question Israeli politicians as to whether or not Israel has nuclear weapons, they always answer with the standard no comment. And this is so as not to confirm or deny and also leave a question mark as to how many nuclear weapons Israel has. So wait a minute, two nations with tons of nuclear weapons, one of which has used nukes on a civilian population, are infuriated that Iran might possibly develop nuclear weapons. The issue isn't about life annihilating nuclear weapons themselves. The United States and Israel don't want a nuclear free world. They just want to be the only ones with nuclear weapons, the only ones with that power. What is the power of nuclear weapons? It's mainly a deterrent. Countries with nukes don't get invaded by other countries. The United States has a long history of invasions and military coups of countries that can't defend themselves. Would America have dared to invade Iraq or Vietnam if they had nuclear weapons? There's also the claim by the United States and Israel that Iran is a terror state and cannot be trusted with nuclear weapons. This again is just hypocritical, disingenuous rhetoric by these governments. On this program, we've shown you the absolutely horrific atrocities perpetuated by Israel and the crimes committed around the world by the United States using its military might is no secret. It is through their military power that Israel and the United States are able to get away with crimes against humanity. Israel feels no pressure to stop its brutalization and oppression of Palestinians when they are the supreme military power in the region armed with nukes and are backed by an even bigger military power with even more nukes. The United States and Israel have terrorized nations and populations that can't defend themselves because of their military power and their ability and willingness to use unconscionable violence. This debate about nuclear weapons is absolutely not about peace. It's not about a nuclear free world. It's about power and control. The United States announced it will go forward with sanctions on Iran. Economic sanctions are aimed at destabilizing the government, not the country's nuclear program. The United States and Israel have desired to overthrow Iran's government, and these events are designed to make that happen. Thank you for watching. Please share this video and stay tuned to If Americans New for the latest news and analysis.